People will focus on the unemployment rate measurement its drawbacks, and these are the problems of the cons of how the, the, the measurements fail to accurately reflect the economy and reflect the changes in the economy. If the, 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 the economy uh, pick up, did the economy slow down, how the measurements fail to accurately reflect these changes. And the first problem is uh, underground economy. The, the, the measurements fail to accurately reflect underground economy because the people who are working in the underground economy are making a legal income, but they are spending that illegal income back into the legal economy. And we're just uh, we're just uh, labeling these people who work in the underground economy as unemployed, but they're actually employed in the in the legal economy. But they just don't pay their taxes. So yeah, there's kind of a failure to uh, reflect accurately that these people are actually doing work and contributing to the economy, just not in a legal way. And there, that is one problem that uh, the unemployment rate measurements fail at. The other problem is uh, underemployment, which I'll use an example to to, uh, to to explain to you the meaning of it. So the example is we have uh, one person with a eight hour eight hour job. Now we take this so one person one person, and we then we take this and we split it to four hour jobs. Four hour job. And this is two people, four hours each. Now the unemployment goes down thanks to this, but the hidden message is the hidden message, which I'll abbreviate as HM, is that uh, a person, these two people, a uh, person is underemployed. Unemployed, and this underemployed underemployment is uh, not reflected or is failed to be reflected by the uh, underemployment rate measurements, and that's one of the problems, the drawbacks that the measurements have. Now, discouraged workers are pretty much people who give up looking for work. So, another example for this is example. Let's say that the unemployed were two people, and the the labor force was five, then the unemployment rate is 40%. But let's say that one of the guys left, so un uh, the unemployed is just one now, and LF is now four, the, un the unemployment rate is one over four, 25%. But the hidden meaning here is the hidden meaning here is once a person stops looking for work, once a person stops looking for work, looking for work, that is equivalent to him being not unemployed. Not unemployed. So not in labor force anymore. So another thing, another way we can look at this is that, okay, the unemployment rate fell, of course, from this calculation it fell, and pretty much uh, someone left the economy. We could just make another example from this example. So someone left the economy, left the economy. So then, uh, because it's left the economy because there's no work, then the unemployment rate goes down. Uh, did the economy pick up? Just answer this question, did the economy pick up? Did the economy get better? Uh, no, not really. Because the unemployment rate dropped because someone left because they can't find work. This does not reflect the economy picking up. Just because the unemployment rate fell does not mean that the economy suddenly got better. It could mean that just someone left because there is no work and how we calculate it, 
uh, unemployment rate fell. And this is really giving us the wrong message to look at. And that's a failure in the unemployment rate measurements itself because it's really not that accurate when we look at it this way. And that's all I want to talk to you about today. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in the next video about or teach you in the next video about unemployment rate.